Tonight, the Patrick Kane rape investigation taking a bizarre turn. We have an evidence bag that was ripped open. Something was either taken out of it or placed in another bag. And even more disturbing, this so-called evidence bag turns up at the doorstep of the accuser's mom. Tonight, two big concerns. Did this bag once contain a rape kit? And is this case now tainted? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller takes a look now at what could be ahead now for this investigation. It's a crime in New York State to tamper with evidence, so is attempting to tamper with evidence. It may look like a simple brown bag, but it could be key in the Patrick Kane rape investigation. And now many are wondering how an authentic hospital evidence bag that once could have contained part of a rape kit ended up on the doorstep of the alleged victim's mother. We went to great lengths to authenticate that that is the evidence sticker, that that is the evidence bag. We confirmed it through the hospital yesterday. The woman's attorney is now calling for a federal investigation into how this bag became lost. The bag was empty when it was placed inside the mother's door and no one knows who put it there. So many unanswered questions leaving everyone involved baffled. Undoubtedly it's going to prolong the investigation. Legal expert Florina Altschieler is a former sex crimes prosecutor for the state of Alaska and provides some insight into what could happen next. If, the, if there is a person who is believed to have tampered with evidence, intentionally so, to interfere with the ongoing investigation, that person would be facing the criminal charge of tampering with evidence. Kane's defense attorney Paul Cambria says lab results from the rape kit came back a few weeks ago, and according to him, none of his client's DNA was found below the waist on the female in question. Cambria says other male DNA was found but it wasn't Kane's. He believes in light of that fact, someone on the other side may have had the motive to destroy evidence. We're happy with the results of this analysis. Um, obviously, someone else isn't happy with the results. The consequence of all of this has been to discredit my client in the public. Central Police Services in Buffalo, the agency in charge of the evidence, released a statement today saying all evidence related to this case that was given to the Erie County Central Police Services by the Town of Hamburg Police Department is accounted for and remains in its original packaging in the possession of Erie County Central Police Services. This includes the evidence in the rape kit and the packaging itself. And the Hamburg Police Department also responded to its handling of the evidence, saying the department did absolutely everything by the books and with the utmost integrity. Now, Iwanu maintains something is missing here and something went terribly wrong. He also tells me he has spoken to Erie County District Attorney Frank Sedita, and investigators are already working on getting to the bottom of this. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.